Hello everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got from the Sephora VIB sale. I have been waiting to do this video for about four weeks now, but um, it just took a little longer for everything to come in due to quarantine. So without further ado, let's just get right into this video. I am super excited to try out all of these. I know I'll probably say that like a million times in this video, so hopefully, I just got it out of the way at the beginning of the video and I won't have to say it anymore. So as far as the Sephora sale goes, it has three levels of loyalty rewards. So it's going to be the Insider for 10% off, the VIB for 15% off, and then VIB Rouge for um, the 20% off. I am the VIB, which is just a 15% off, so I was able to get everything that I'm showing you in this video for 15% off today. The first thing, I got was the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser from the Drunk Elephant brand. Um, I heard such good things about this um, and I love, like, I'm a sucker for skincare that comes with a little spoon or spatula, so I just needed something to remove my makeup a lot better than a makeup remover wipe. So I got this little guy here. Um, another thing that I have been wanting to try out forever is the Creme de la Mer moisturizing. I got this for dry skin. My skin is um, dry to combination. Um, it's more on the dry side though, so I, I was thinking the more moisturized your face can be, the better, so I just went for the one for dry skin. And um, I did try this and I am absolutely loving it. This also comes with a little spoon and I got the, um, I believe, the one ounce, it has like four different sizes and they range from like 90 to all the way up to like $510. So I just got the one ounce, which was the $180 one. It's very, very pricey, but I just think skincare is definitely worth the investment. I do have problematic skin, so that's why for me personally, especially during the sale, I had to just go ahead and try this out. I also did get the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This also comes with a little spatula. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys. It is so cute. Just comes in this little pouch and basically you're supposed to put it on at night, leave it on overnight and then just scrub away in the morning and I heard it's life changing. All the reviews on any of these pieces are just like four to five stars. It is amazing. I always look at the reviews in Sephora and that pretty much helps me determine whether or not I wanna get them. I also did get the Laneige Glowy uh, Makeup Serum. Again, the reviews on this were so amazing. All I did during quarantine was pretty much watch makeup YouTube videos. I've never been someone who's like super big on makeup until now. Like I'll put it on for sure, but I'll have one eyeshadow palette and I'm fine. But I've gotten a little obsessed. So um, I got the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I never used to prep my skin with anything, which is so hard to believe now because now I have so many things to prep my skin with. So I did cave and get an eyeshadow palette. This is the Dominique Cosmetics. I got this because my sister absolutely said I need this in my life. Um, she said the pigmentation and just how smooth and creamy they are are life changing. So um, I was running pretty low on eyeshadow palettes and I just decided to get one. It looks so pretty. Like, look at that. That's so pretty. Especially the top five colors are literally my colors. So, I'm excited. By the way, I have not tried out any of these yet because I want to do a video for you guys that shows um, my first impressions of all these new makeup products that I'm getting. The temptation has been real lately. So as far as um, mascaras go, I literally have the world's most sensitive eyes. Like, I don't know why, but every single mascara irritates my eyes. And I finally just like took one from my mom one day and I took her Lancome one. You can pack it on as many times as you want and it just does the most amazing things for my lashes. I personally do not get any irritation from them, which is like jaw-dropping. Every single mascara irritates my eyes and this one doesn't. Um, so I absolutely love it. The only thing that I did see in the reviews is that um, people say it's not good for like when you sweat um, and it transfers, but I live in Arizona and I'm working constantly, so I honestly have never experienced that for me. But 
yeah, I've heard that that's also floating around in the reviews, but I personally have not got any of that. So I did get the um, Lancome um, Div... I'm just going to show it to you. <laughs> Um, it's the high definition mascara um, and I got it in the deep black the one that my mom had was just the regular black but it is kind of gray so I just thought the deep black would be nice for when I'm doing something dark with my eyes I also did get their sales booster and extra large and these two together I heard are like the best power couple now this isn't something that's hundred percent new to me but the size is. I always um, just got the smaller size because it was cheap and the small does still last you a very long time but I'm just like you know what it's a sale so I got the bigger one and the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder um, and I also got the Velour Puff or the yes I think that's what it's called and um, I'm excited to use this too and to use it for my powder and stuff so I got that little set as well and then as for blushes, I got two blushes. I am such a big fan of Patrick Ta, so I had to get his um, blush in Seductive. Um, he literally uses this on every celebrity possible. He uses it as an eyeshadow and he obviously uses it as a blush. I think it would go really, really well with my skin tone. It works on every skin tone, by the way. You can go on his Instagram and he has little tutorials of him doing like any kind of models makeup and he always uses this specific blush so I had to get my hands on it. Um, I'm also getting into a lot of cream products lately and I just saw the reviews on the Tower 28 so I had to get this one as well. I got it in golden hour. It's like a cheek and lip balm. Um, I'm not too familiar with cream products but for summer I definitely like to use them. And then for lip products, I did, of course, um, have to get two Patrick Ta lip pencils. I got the colors in She's Proud and She's Humble. These just looked so pretty. Again, he has them all over Instagram, and these ones also had really good reviews. I also did restock my NARS concealer. This time I got the shade um, in Nougatine Light 2.2 just to really brighten the under eyes and the center of my face in T-Zone. And I got their Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, which I've seen every makeup artist use this as far as an eyeshadow primer goes. And I've personally always just used my concealer. But to get something specific for the lids, um, I think is important. So I'm excited to try this one out as well. Um, another product that I did want to get, but they sold out so quickly when they launched. So I ended up having to get it on the makeup artist website of course Patrick Ta he came out with a brow wax and a um, brow wax like pencil and brow gel just does not work on my eyebrows I have such coarse thick eyebrows and I just feel like I always needed something stronger but I never thought to get a brow wax so um, I ordered it from his website because I couldn't get 15% off at Sephora because they sold out again so quickly um, and the packaging is so pretty. I'm not mad that I had to get it from his website because it's just so, so cute. So that's what the brush um, box looks like. And I got the brow wax in tinted. It was also my birthday month um, during the month of May. So I was able to get my little free birthday gift. And I just got the NARS option um, for the free little birthday gift. And... I'm excited to try this one out too because I've never tried a blush or a lipstick from NARS. I just usually get their concealer. And that is everything. That is everything that I got from the Sephora VIB sale. I'm pretty sure I'm like this close to becoming VIB Rouge from how much I spent. But yeah, anyways, um, that is all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you would like to see a video of me trying out all this makeup, um, stay tuned for that because I will be filming that pretty soon here So if you have any questions on any of this makeup, please leave them on the comments down below and I can even answer them in my next video um, showing you how They all look like on me. So um, Thank you so much for watching if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button um, And I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye